with an ABC News exclusive. Rebecca, you got a first look at something that could really improve more than a billion lives. Yeah, Robin, this could truly be a game changer. 1.5 billion people around the world experience hearing loss, and many don't do anything about it because of the stigma. Well, starting in about a week, Apple has a new software update that will turn the AirPod Pro 2 into an FDA-cleared hearing aid. And we had the chance to go behind the scenes inside their secret audio labs where they fine-tune the technology to make this happen. In the middle of a nondescript office park in Cupertino, California, is one of Apple's best kept secrets. Just behind these doors are Apple's secret audio labs, and no one's been inside to see them until now. Let's go. Our first stop. Welcome to Fantasia Lab. A one of its kind audio lab where Apple engineers have spent years experimenting and fine tuning technology that can turn a set of AirPods Pro 2 into a hearing aid. The minute I heard about this, I immediately thought of a handful of people in my life who can really be helped. Yeah. Was it personal for you? Yeah, absolutely. Hearing loss is, is such a widespread issue. And, and the, the sad reality is that the vast majority of people who have hearing loss don't do anything about it. And so here's an opportunity for us to actually make a super simple, easy solution. And yeah, it's, it's deeply personal for probably most of the people working on this product. In Fantasia Lab, these loudspeakers recreate the sounds of hundreds of scenarios to run different tests that help validate the hearing aid and hearing protection features. Everybody's hearing profile is slightly different. So essentially we've run hundreds of people through here, running dozens of tests. Now, including me. I experienced a noisy restaurant. So it really feels like I'm sitting inside of a restaurant where there's a lot of noise going on. I can sort of feel the vibe of one conversation over here, plates clacking and hitting each other. So we create this complex sound field and then we add target talkers and we ask you to repeat and that way we can understand your ability to hear speech and noise. Next, we move to a quieter spot. Wow. In fact, one of the most quiet places on Earth. This chamber has its own foundation. Apple's long wave chamber. Inside, walls made of acoustic foam wedges, a floor of mesh stainless steel cable, one of the only like it in the world, so engineers can make extremely precise sound measurements. This room can be completely silent. Absolutely. Once I close this door, some folks even hear their heartbeat. Hundreds of people, thousands of tests, culminating in the new software update, which, along with hearing protection, features a hearing test whose results can be used to automatically turn your AirPods Pro 2 into an FDA-cleared hearing aid. How big of a breakthrough do you think this is? This is a significant breakthrough. It is democratizing access to a test that normally requires you to go into a clinical office. 75% of people who have hearing loss do not get the help they need. And so if just by the simple fact we can do two things, provide access at home, and then two, simply if you need a hearing aid, provide our AirPods, that's really powerful. I was blown away by how powerful this could be. That hearing aid feature and the hearing test will be available in about a week on existing AirPods Pro 2s. If you don't have them, they cost about $249. Meantime, hearing aids, they can range from $99 for over-the-counter varieties to more than $1,000 mm -hmm. uh, to get your prescription filled. And I just think about this in terms of the stigma. I know I have people in my life mm -hmm. who haven't taken a hearing test or they're just scared mm -hmm. of hearing aids. Now it's these. It's the AirPod Pro and so many young people are wearing sure. them as well. You can see the impact yeah. these will make. As you said, game changer. Very in much many so. Ways. so many ways. Yeah. 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 All right. Thank Thanks, you, Rebecca, Robin. for that.